guys, it's Karina and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my full coverage foundation routine. This is a routine that I go for when I am going out at night or if I'm going to any type of event where I need my makeup to last a really long time even if I'm like sweating and all that kind of stuff. I just felt like showing you guys my foundation routine today because I don't think I've shown you a foundation routine in a really long time and I don't think I have ever done a full coverage foundation routine. I don't think I've ever showed you guys my routine for when I go out and stuff. So if you would like to see my full coverage face routine and just see how I get my makeup to last all night, then just keep on watching. Alright, so to start, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Primer Water to prime my face. I just want to make sure that I have a really nice base just so that the foundation lays really nicely. Also prior to this, I already moisturized with the Wanderlust Moisturizer and I have been absolutely loving that. That kind of works as a primer as well, but I wanted something a little bit extra because I want this foundation to last a really, really, really long time. Typically when I'm doing like a full coverage foundation, I want it to last all night, so yeah, that's why I want to go in with a primer. And then after this, we're going to go straight into our foundation. And the foundation that I love, love, love to use for when I go out or just when I want like a really nice full coverage foundation. I like the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. This is the older one. Um, this is the newer one. This one is the regular HD one. Honestly, I can't tell like a huge difference. I absolutely love both formulas. I am currently in between the shades N123 and N120. So I just like to mix these two together. And I just like to apply it with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. What I'm going to do today is I'm just going to pump both foundations directly onto the sponge. So I'm going to take about one and a half pumps of each. And I'm just going to be donning it all over my face. And as you can see right away, this already starts covering up any redness that I have. Because I do have a lot of redness on my face. So that is the first layer. And then after, I typically like to go over a couple of spots over again just because I want a little more coverage. So right now I can tell I am breaking out on my cheeks and I have a little bit of scarring right on this side. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of the foundation and build the coverage around the cheek area. And this foundation layers really, really nicely. It doesn't get super cakey or anything. And I think that looks pretty good. Don't forget to blend it down the neck area. So next I'm going in with concealer and this one is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Warm. I definitely could have gone a little bit darker with this concealer, but I really wanted that warm undertone and this was the only one that I found that had a nice warm yellow undertone to it. I'm really really particular when it comes to like the undertones of my concealers, so yeah, we're just going to work with this shade today. And I'm just going to be placing this right underneath my eyes into a triangle formation, just like that. And if you find your concealer is too light, you can always mix in a little bit of... You can either mix concealers or you can mix in a little bit of your foundation shade into your concealer. And then just take your MAC Fix Plus, spray your beauty blender again just to get it nice and damp. And just start blending this out. And what this triangle shape does, if you do not know already, is it just brightens up this entire area. You can also go down the side of your nose if you would like. And it also conceals your dark circles. And this just, as you can tell, it just brightens up your entire face. And then when you go down the sides of your nose with that highlight and then also down the bridge of your nose, it also gives you a slight nose contour without actually contouring. So if you aren't into nose contouring at all, that's definitely a thing that you can do just to kind of mock like a nose contour. Just put highlight 
down the sides of your nose and leave like two blank little lines and as you can tell it kind of just contours your nose a little bit once you have all of your concealer just nicely blended out we are going to set and bake our face with the Laura Mercier translucent powder you guys know that I absolutely love the RCMA powder but I do still have this and I don't want to I don't want it to go to waste so use whatever translucent powder you like if you're going out to take pictures just make sure that the powder that you use does not flash back the RCMA one does not flash back the Laura Mercier one doesn't flash back either so just make sure you test your powder out before you take pictures with it and I do like going in with the damp beauty blender to bake my face because I feel like it just melts everything together so I'm just going to be taking my real technique sponge just get some powder on there look down into a mirror because you don't want it creasing up before you bake your face and then just press this into the skin don't forget to go down the sides of your nose Another area that I personally like to bake is right here because I feel like that is where your foundation breaks up and oil just kind of yeah, like breaks down the foundation. So definitely bake this area if you get oily. And then also go down the bridge of your nose just to highlight a little bit. And also take it on your chin. You can also do it on your smile lines if you get a lot of creasing there. So it looks a little crazy now, but I promise you this step like works when you are just trying to make your makeup last all night. And then for the rest of your face, I just take like a really big fluffy brush and just dip it into the powder and then just lightly dust those areas. Alright, and now we are going to dust away the powder. I'm just taking this large angled Luxie brush. Fits right under my eye. And then just dust away that powder. So once all that powder is dusted away, I'm going to finish with the rest of my face. I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Melt Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Light Medium to contour. And to do this, I'm going to be using a NYX number 2 brush. So I'm just taking that and I'm going to place it into the hollows of my cheeks do not forget your temples and your forehead also you can do down the sides of your nose next we are going to put on some blush I'm taking um, let me see. What is this? This is Milani's Baked Blush in Luminoso. Really nice peach color because I have a little bit of those peach tones on my eyes. So I wanted to put that on my cheeks. And then lastly, we are going to go in with a highlighter, of course. And this one is Ofra's Highlighter in the shade Blissful and it is so so pretty I also have a 30% off coupon code with Ofra if you guys would like to use that um, and it brings this blush down I would say to less than $30 so I'm just taking that on a Luxie medium fan brush and just placing that onto the high points of my cheek and look at oh my goodness this highlights insane I also want to put a little bit down the bridge of my nose. So I'm going to go finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back. Alright, so I am back and this is what the foundation looks like with the rest of my makeup on. I just kind of finished off the lower lash line. I put some inner corner highlight. I did my lips and I also kind of cleaned up my eyebrows because they got a little bit covered up due to the concealer. But this is the completed foundation look. This is what I love to wear whenever I go out and honestly, it has yet to fail me. This is what I wear when I go to any like music events. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed 
enjoyed this video and found this foundation routine helpful please let me know what any of your full coverage foundation routine favorite products are down below I would love to try some new ones out these are kind of just things that I've always gone back to but I'm always down to try new things as always please leave your video requests down below in the comment section and let me know if you like this video also if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I think that is all I have to say I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye